Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the Sunlu filament dryer and plus two bonus tips included. Hey guys, so I live in Durban, South Africa and Durban, South Africa is, has extremely high humidity. Uh, our humidity levels are in the range of 95 to 100%. And we have sometimes very, very humid days and that affects my filament. I've affected filaments such as PLA, ABS, PETG, those kind of filaments. Uh, PLA doesn't absorb that much, but if you leave it outside for too long, it does start to absorb moisture. How will you know that your filament has absorbed water? Well, the telltale tip of this is at the, at the hot end on your printer, you'll hear these little pops and little wisps of, um, of steam coming off your printhead. This is an indication that your filament has water in it. This can ruin your print, it can create uh, bad adhesion layers and really destroy your print. So how do you combat this? Well, there's a lot of ways. Firstly, you can put your filament into an oven at a very low temperature of about 60 degrees Celsius and try and bake off the moisture in that way. But that's a tricky method. Another method that I've seen is to use the uh, something in South Africa called a dry buddy. It's a vertical dryer that allows you to dry your clothing and you can stack your filament inside there and dry inside there. That apparently works really well. But I don't have that much space to put a uh, this laundry dryer inside my house. So what I've done is I've bought the Sunlu uh, filament dryer. And I like this thing a lot. This thing works really well. It consistently heats up to the temperature of about 60 degrees Celsius. You've got a timer, so you can put a timer on it. And what I do is when I generally want to print with, for example, ABS. ABS, I get a lot of popping out of here. I've had some controversy about this on my group. But any filament that absorbs water and when you try print, you get the pops. So what I do is I put it inside here and for six hours I let it dry and then I can start using the, the filament. I know six hours is a long time, but if you just let it dry overnight on the timer, you'll have dry filament. And the results are magnificent. I get far better prints out of this. So really is a great unit. It's got a little LCD on the front here that allows you to set your temperature that you want your filament to be heated up to and for how long you want to keep it at that heat. I generally run it for six hours, let it dry out the filament, and then while I'm printing, I put it on again for another hour or two, depending on how long my print is. So while I'm printing, it is still getting dried and, and heated inside here. It just keeps it consistent and works really well. I'm super impressed with the sun. It's not an expensive unit. Um, I will post up a price here on the screen now. Uh, they are well priced. They are good units and they are well constructed. It's got a nice little lid here uh, where you can just slot your filament into really easy. Now, at the beginning of this video, I said I had two tips. So here's tip number one. What you can do is you can fill, feed your filament out through the top hole here. I'll do that quickly. Bring it over to your printer and then try to run it into your extruder. This is not a good filament part. It's going to pull tight and it's going to put your filament under strain. So all you do is you take a bowden tube. Get These bowden tubes are really cheap. You pop your filament into the bottom tube like this. It will also keep your filament from getting wet while it's sitting standing uh, and it's sitting inside the, the container here. You push into the hole. The hole is perfectly sized for the filament. You then run your filament through your hot end at the top here. Okay. And then it runs beautifully through this flow. You've got a nice uh, contour for it to flow through. It doesn't put any strain on your filament and it works like an absolute bomb. Now for tip number two, I have mounted my extruder on the top of my printing arm, on the gantry rather than on the crossbeam here on the gantry arm. This is because this puts a little bit of extra weight and tension on your, on your, um, on your print area, your print arm. So I've moved it up to the top gantry here, which relieves all that pressure. And this works beautifully. You've got a nice clean filament throw, flow down to the bottom and I've done this on all my printers. As soon as I get them, I change, I remove it from here and I'll bring it up top here. I will post the STL for the, this bracket in the link in the description below. And you can guys can go and print it out and try it out yourself. It works really well. 
Now, to run the wire, you just run it around the back of the printer here through the, the extrusion, the aluminum extrusion, and I've used these blue uh, rubber fillers for the filament extrusion to hold the cable in place. Works like an absolute charm, doesn't get in the way, and just runs beautifully. So guys, that's it for this video. Please uh, subscribe if you like what I'm doing on this channel. I want to build a lot more videos soon, and um, I've got some exciting new stuff coming in. Also, uh, if you feel that I've helped you with a great tip, it would be nice to hit that thanks button in the, in the description below and the bottom part next to the, the uh, like button. Hit that thanks and uh, help me with this, this channel. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Look after yourself. God bless. Stay well and see you soon.